competitive. Dedicated. Motivating. Passionate. The first time that I really met Sandy was, um, I was the coach here at UW-Milwaukee and she was a player at Madison East. And uh, I was recruiting her and for some odd reason, she decided to go to the, I won't say the name of the school, but uh, that Fighting Irish down in Indiana. And, uh, and I thought, oh, you know what? Someday she'll be back. She'll be back. She'll know what she missed out on. She'll be back. And sure enough, she came back, and I think she's here to stay. Uh, Sandy is, to me, a very motivating, positive, inspiring individual. When I first met her, she was just loud and exciting, and she just has a great aura about her. Can talk to anybody, can socialize with anybody, and just overall a great friend, great person. Yeah, I think um, just through the recruiting process, I mean, her and the coaching staff that were here had recruited me for, um, you know, a good two years and just stayed very close to me and in good contact. Um, I think one of the things that even looking back now, I realize that they did is they even just started coaching me, you know, just kind of giving me advice and, and helping me as a high school athlete in, in terms of just taking um, a sincere interest in my the way that I play and who I am as a person. Um, so it was just the, it was an easy choice at that point. I remember just, it felt right. It felt like a family. Um, I trusted them completely and in, in their intentions for me as a student as and as an athlete. It was just trying to get me to come to camps and um, working with me to help me improve my game so I could be a better high school player and in return be a better college player also. Um, she was very family oriented, so I think that helps a lot in terms of just being able to feel comfortable with the decision I made to come here and knowing that I had a second family here in Milwaukee. Uh, Sandy was very, very competitive. She was uh, pretty high strung, I think, back then when you're young and you're ambitious. Um, she was, uh, again, very competitive and uh, really wanted to win and I was um, very happy and very proud that she took over the program at that time. Well, you know I think of her as a coach and she's not like some of the others hyper intense and all that but she's not going to sit there and kind of ho hum it either. She splits the difference with a medium long fuse but boy I'll tell you when you hit the point you know she'll take her tea every now and again. <laughs> Um, I think the transition being when Sandy came in my senior year was, I think it was just different. I think all of us were hungry, we were ready to, you know, push and Sandy was there to push us and, and you know, get us moving and, and we actually had the same exact team that we did um, years before, the year before. Um, and I think it was just her excitement, her motivation, just her positive on everything that everybody was willing to push as hard as they could and we stepped it up. I think she's just, you know, she's just uh, very competitive. She loves what she does, and uh, she puts her heart and soul into uh, coaching. And uh, I think she also has uh, a good sense of uh, her mental health and her physical health um, that also helps in uh, it, it, every day, every day in recruiting and practicing. Um, so that uh, it's just part of her. There's her passion. Um, you know, I know she loved this game. She loved building something and inspiring um, young student athletes. And I think just her passion to do that and dedication to do it is, is what made her so successful and brought this program to what it is today. Again, it's her passion, her dedication, her commitment, um, her wanting to see players improve and be successful, um, her drive for the game. I remember we were on a road trip in Youngstown and um, they had a tattoo convention and this kind of goes to show how passionate she is about it. She got the Chinese symbol for passion on her back in black and gold and I guess that just kind of shows her commitment to the university and the program. It's the background she brings the experiences she brings, 
and what she's learned um, about the sport, about people, and how to put the two together. Uh, I think she's a fairly decent student of the game. And like all human beings, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and tries to learn from that. If she saw you an hour ago, she still has a smile for you. And, um, you know, even if, uh, even if she lost a, a, a very important game the day before, I would go into her office and say, how are you doing? Um, and she would just still have a smile. I think she, she uh, knew how to win and, and knew uh, how to lose. And so I think uh, mentally she was very um, prepared for uh, competition. Um, she definitely obviously had a big part in my accomplishments and the team's accomplishments um, while I was here. But just taking away her passion for the game and her commitment to the game and um, being able to feed off of that every day in practice or during games and just working to fight every day. And she just definitely instilled that in all of us to work hard and never give up. And Keep on pushing. The best memory is the first time we went to the NCAA tournament, um, just the conference championship. That entire week and a half, we played the tournament at UIC, and then um, the experience of going on to Duke and just um, that whole experience for all of us um, that we shared together was very special. I think that was a very historic year, and uh, going to um, the uh, the pre-party for the NCAA, uh, I think it was uh, very uh, honorable and uh, very exciting uh, for not only the team and Sandy and the coaches, but for the university and uh, the campus community. They went again and we all went down to Rosemont. And I remember, because I could be a fan. Oh, we had a great contingent, a lot of fun. But Sandy fed on that. She's always been high energy. Uh, she brought that to the program. Um, a lot of dedication and spirit. Definitely the NCAA tournament. Um, winning, I still remember winning the championship game against UIC and um, she took out the seniors, myself and Molly, and we both just ran up to her and just gave her the biggest hug um, because we told her our freshman year during spring break that we were going to get there and just to be able to accomplish it with her our senior year was amazing. Sandra. Um, I think probably the funniest time is Sandy. We were at a um, on a road trip, and she grabs a microphone at a practice and starts singing the national anthem like out loud and singing the whole entire song during her practice. So it's probably the funniest memory she had. The one that's just popping out in my mind immediately is um, a story of we call it the sunflower seed story, and it was a day of practice. Right before practice, we were watching film. And it was around Halloween time and every year Sandy has the team over to her place and we carve pumpkins and bob for apples and all that fun stuff and she makes sunflower seeds for the team. And um, it was, you know, the next day or the day after we had done that event and she just wasn't really happy with the way that we've been practicing at all and watching the film and didn't think that we were, you know, being grateful for the opportunity and wanted us to understand um, the privilege that we've that we have to be here as student athletes um, and so it just you know kind of snowballed into a, a yelling fit at us and she threw her sunflower seeds at us um, you know just to inspire the us to be grateful so it's one of those stories that every time we're together we always tell the sunflower seed story because it has just been one of the funniest ones that we can remember. The first one that comes to mind is I mean it's was more of a serious moment at the time, but looking back on it, when she yelled at one of our managers for allowing the buzzer to go off during practice and just talking about how upset he should be at himself <laughs> for letting the buzzer go off during practice yet again. And then another one that sticks out in my mind, I was actually just talking to somebody about this, but she got upset at us during <laughs> another serious moment but when we weren't singing a song from Sister Act passionate enough with not enough feeling or emphasis and <laughs> enough care so those stories always make me laugh. Um, you know I think being a, being a player under Sandy and then having the time to coach with Sandy um, I think 
just the memories in general and now just being, a, you know, Sandy's like a great friend of mine, just the, you know, the mentoring, the role model, just learning from some of her, you know, positives and I think just in life. So I don't know if I have one particular best memory, but I think overall, um, just learning from Sandy and, you know, having the different experiences I've had have been. Um, I think she's helped me to be more of a confident person, more vocal, um, kind of developing that I don't care what other people think attitude. Um, taught me to definitely never give up in anything I do. Um, the saying, what your mind believes your body achieves comes back and I can actually see <laughs> now that it is true. Um, but just that never, kind of that never die attitude, never give up. I think she has inspired me to, you know, always be a little bit more outgoing. I'm not the most outgoing person all the time, but she is a very um, outgoing person and um, just being comfortable with who I am as a person um, is one of the biggest things I think she inspired. I think Sandy overall has been a positive for me, but also um, somebody who can always give you the right advice, always give you you know, if you're down about something, there's always something that's going to be better. And just teaching you, um, you know, the ways of life and the ways that um, you should move on. I think, you know, being with basketball, she didn't only teach you basketball, but she also taught you, you know, how to grow up and how to, you know, you're going to be in the work world and, you know, how to act and, you know, being on time and just the little things that matter. Uh, is also very entertaining. Uh, any place she goes, she's the life of the party. Uh, she has a great sense of energy uh, and impact on the, the girls in, in this state. So I think uh, she will, um, her, her memory uh, will be here, not that she's gone, but uh, she, uh, she just made a great impact on the state. And if you were recruited uh, by Sandy, then uh, there was some tough recruiting um, situations. So 